place you know. It's people you trust. It's welcoming, like a friend. It's a place of volunteers, a place of givers, movers, and shakers. Friday night lights and Saturday yard sales. It's the original social network. It's your community, and we're proud to be a part of it. Community Trust Bank, building communities built on trust. Jennifer Burke Elliott, attorney at law, is here to assist you with all your legal needs. From car wrecks to family law to general wills and deeds, she can help you sort through your legal issues. Jennifer has practiced law for over 30 years and is ready, willing, and able to guide you through the process. Jennifer Burke Elliott is located at 107 South Arnold Avenue in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, inside the historic Harkins Building. Call 886-9937 to set up your appointment. Some speeches for the 47th annual Hillbilly Dale celebration. We're so glad to have you here. A little chilly this morning, but it should turn into a pretty hillbilly Saturday. Believe it or not, it's actually a little warmer last year. Uh, I'd first like to start off by thanking our sponsors for the event, Judge Ray Jones, the Pike County Fiscal Court, as well as our co-sponsors, the Pike County Democratic Women and the Pike County Republican Women's Club. I'd also like to recognize a special guest, uh, Governor Paul Patton over here, from the courthouse to the State House as governor of Kentucky, and we find it's hard to imagine anybody's done more for our community than Governor Pat. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Hey, look, I, you come up here, I go home. You can, you, we'll let you have the whole show. <laughs> good to see you, Governor. All right. Very good. We got some great speeches coming up. Before we get started, I'd like to start with an invocation. I'd like to invite Mr. Jim Absher. He's a Pike County Commissioner for District 3, but he's also Minister of the Upper Grapevine Church of Christ to come deliver the invocation. Let's pray. Merciful, gracious, and kind, loving Heavenly Father. Father God, we thank you for allowing us to be here this day. We thank you for this day that you have blessed us with, Lord. And I just pray, oh, Heavenly Father, that you'll be with each and every one in church today. Bless us and watch over us, Lord. Father, forgive us when we fail you, Lord. Next up, with the Pledge of Allegiance, be Daryl Fannin. He's a Navy veteran who served on the USS Ranger during the Vietnam, Vietnam War. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you, Daryl. Stripes and rights. 
Senator saying, if that doesn't make you feel great to be part of democracy, I don't know what does. Be proud to be an American. All right. We're going to get ready to go with some speeches here in a few minutes, but so let's get started with the, can with the rules. Each candidate is going to have four minutes to speak. If they run over time, they get played off the stage with good old banjo music. I think everybody knows the deal around here, how we do the Hillbilly Days. The order, of speech, the order of speakers are going to be organized by race for office and then alphabetically within that race. We'll try to be fair to everybody. Our official timekeepers are representatives from our co-sponsors. We have Jennifer Bevins here from the Pike County Democratic Women's Club, right here. And then we've got Dima Ann Ledevic from the Pike County Republicans Women's Club. Now, Jennifer's done this for a number of years, so I know she knows the deal. Dean, I think this is your first year doing it, but she was my third grade teacher, so I know she'll do a tight shift. She'll do a good job. All right. Let's get started here. First up, our first race, is going to be candidates for U.S. Representative for the 5th District. Starting us off will be Dan Edwards. He's a Republican candidate for the U.S. House of Representatives for the 5th District. Dr. Dana Edwards has served in Eastern Kentucky as a private practice surgeon since 1998. He and his wife have six children and live in Manchester. Dr. Edwards founded the first and only bariatric surgery center of excellence in Eastern Kentucky. He and his wife provide addiction treatment and have founded a nonprofit dedicated to providing a home where mothers undergoing addiction treatment can live with their children. Everybody make welcome Dr. Dana Edwards, candidate for the 5th District. Hey, good morning. I am Dr. Dana Edwards, and I am a Republican candidate for Congress, and I am running against Al Rogers. If you believe that a professional career politician is the best form of representation and is promoted by any principle of the United States Constitution, do not vote for me. Because I believe that a career professional politician is the worst form of representation and is, in fact, in direct opposition to the principles of the United States Constitution. So I am running against, as a private citizen, not a politician, just like you, against the most powerful and entrenched professional career politician in America. I am an American citizen wanting a return to constitutional sanity, fiscal sanity, moral sanity, religious sanity, and to a new, fully accessible, transparent form of constitutional leadership. So what am I for? I'm for number one. I'm for the Constitution, the greatest political document ever written in the history of mankind. I am number two, I am for the economic growth of our district. I will formulate and publish for your review a five-year comprehensive economic development plan that's never been done before so that you can see what transparent leadership is. Number three, I, I am for fiscal sanity. We've got to quit borrowing money and spending money we don't have. I am for a balanced budget. We at this point have exactly $36 trillion in national debt. You and I as taxpayers are paying over $2 billion a day in interest, over $800 billion a day in interest. Economists say that if Congress does not change its ways by 2030, six years from now, we will have a national debt of over $50 trillion. That's unsupportable. We cannot continue to fund the mandatory spending like Social Security. Medicaid, Medicare, and the military if we had that kind of debt. I am for protecting our border, militarize it, shut it down, and stop the illegal immigration that's going on. And I am for term limits. We have to stop the reign of professional politicians. So what am I against? Wokeism, an ugly, disgusting, demonic philosophy that wants to destroy our belief in divine creation and remove God from our country. I am, I am against uh, taxes that have no bearing on us whatsoever. I, I am against the use of vital elements from foreign countries. You know that we have electric transformers that come from foreign countries, prescription drugs, medical supplies. We've placed ourselves vulnerable to foreign countries. And the last thing that I'm against is the importation of energy sources from foreign countries for the same reason. We all know we have enough coal and oil and gas to provide our energy sources for decades and decades. We just need to remove the silly regulations and start, start getting it, mining it, and using it. 
May the 21st, you have a choice. And you can choose to re-elect an 87-year-old professional politician, or you can choose to elect me, a citizen with a new vision, with an economic development plan that you've never seen before. I pray that you will. I pray you will hit a vote out for me on May the 21st. May God continue to bless you and your family. And may God bless America. Republican majorities in the State House 
can prepare Eastern Kentucky for a brighter future and a new generation while protecting our signature industries from the left. We've passed legislation that has divested our pension funds out of the great houses of Wall Street that seek to kill our American coal industry. We've invested hundreds of millions of dollars in roads throughout Eastern Kentucky to form the bedrock of a great and new industrial revolution. We've invested in vocational schools to give people the skills they need to start earning a middle-class living on day one. I've worked with people like Representative Jacob Justice, Representative Bobby McCool, Representative John Blanton, men of great faith and values with a vision for Eastern Kentucky, a vision of a brighter future, not looking towards the past, but looking forward towards a rejuvenation of our area. Folks, America and Kentucky is at a crossroads. Who would have ever thought that we would have a national party that won't defend the borders of the United States of America? Who would have thought that we would have a governor who vetoes a bill to prevent universities from chemically castrating minor children? A party that is for these things is not a party of just or righteousness. It is a party of failure. And we need the people of Eastern Kentucky to stand strong. Republican registration has been gaining strength with each passing month, and we need to continue that trend. I'm not going to say that Republicans haven't made mistakes in the past. We have. We focus too much on the country clubs and not on Main Street. Thankfully, our President Donald Trump, who once again bears the standard of this party, has focused on the working classes and the working people. And through him, we will take this country back. We will lead it to a brighter new day. We will put Joe Biden and the people that want to destroy this nation consign them to the dustbins of history. Ladies and gentlemen, our nation stands at a crossroads. We have to get out and we have to vote. Oh, Republican, thank you! Next up, we've got candidates for state representative from the 
95th district. Uh, Ashley Tackett Lafferty is a Democratic candidate running for state representative. She's the incumbent that assumed, assumed office on January 1st, 2019. Lafferty is currently serving as a state representative. Among, the, among others, she has been endorsed by teachers, coal miners, union workers, first responders, and the NRA. Lafferty is an attorney at the Kirk Law Firm, where she has practiced law for nearly 20 years. She's the wife of Chuck Lafferty, and together they have three children. She's unable to be here because of other family commitments. And we have David Pennington, Republican candidate for that same race. David Pennington joined the U.S. Marines and was stationed at Al Ambar Province in Iraq to, to the city of Fallujah for the Operation Fan and Fury. After his military service, Pennington worked for the federal prison system, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and as a Floyd County pretrial officer. He's married with five animals, four of which are rescues. He spent most of his time helping with animals and rescues and rescues and children from drug addicted homes. He is a stable veteran, competitive shooter, and an avid gun collector and trader. Please make welcome David Pennington. Thank you all. I'm not a refined public speaker. Most of my speaking is hollering at the Marines, and that ain't really public forum friendly. But I'm going to tell you something that we already know. You know, most politicians don't care about anybody sitting out here. They don't give one crap about us. They have the power to change things for working men and women, and they don't. If I happen to win, the first things that I want to do is term limits. Two terms is all anybody needs. Get in there, you get lazy, you get greedy. Tax restructure. When you own your property, you own your vehicle, you shouldn't pay taxes on it. It's yours. You own it. You've earned it. The job of a representative and a senator is to represent you, not themselves. It's to represent what the bulk of the people want. Most political speeches are saying, I work with constituents and legislators and all this and that, but they never lay it out and they never do it. They don't want to put their buddies in a hard spot. They jump in front of cameras and take, you know, they say they fix these roads that was planned and funded 20 years ago, or they'll win the office and step down. They get given nice state jobs like my primary opponent, Mr. Spencer. 99% of politicians don't want to leave. They want power and the title. I'll do exactly what I'm sitting here saying I will. We'll restructure taxes. We'll fund teachers, first responders, disabled veterans, and the working men and women. And if they don't pass, you'll get to see who in Kentucky is here to help and who ain't. I'm tired of the double standard. You know, I'm nothing but a dumb old Marine, but I can see we're sinking lower and lower. East Kentucky is left behind. 99% of us are blue collar workers. I gave up a nice state job to be able to run for this office. We've let the 1% take over because they have something we don't, and that's time. We have to work. They can take months off to go to Frankfurt. It's time for that to stop, put our own people in place. A few last things. So many of our young women have been killed. It's not been solved. Ladies, get quality handguns and quality training. I'll be available to you 24-7 if you want to reach out and you know ask anything. And for those responsible for Amber Spradlin's death, jails are coming. Thank you. <laughs> Unopposed. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he's an incumbent running unopposed. Uh, his prior commitment's not attending, but he represents Johnson, Martin, and a portion of Pike counties. McCool served in the U.S. Marine Corps, worked as a coal miner and a college teacher administrator. He resides in Van Leer with his wife, Deb. Race. Here we go. Pike County Commissioner District 3. First up, Democrat Jim Absher. He's a Democratic candidate for County Commissioner District 3. He's an incumbent who assumed office on February 14, 2014. Absher served in the U.S. Army and he's a veteran of the Vietnam War. He's a retired coal miner and also retired from the Pike County Sheriff's Office. Absher is an ordained minister and serves as the serves as the minister of the Upper Grapevine Church of Christ. Absher is the father of two, the grandfather of seven, and the great grandfather of five. He resides in Camper with his wife Anita. Ladies and gentlemen, please wait, make welcome Jim Absher. Small. 
What we need to have is the people big and the government small. And then we have been blessed by God in this country that we shouldn't have to depend upon nobody, no other country whatsoever, in order for us to have a blessed, long, healthy life right here in the United States of America. And as I have made my living since I was 18 years old in the coal industry, as you know, there is a horrible war against the coal industry. So if you ask me how do I believe and what do I believe, I believe that we need to be an energy independent country. Governor Patton, we need to run coal every day in every holler. We need to make sure that our people is being provided for, our children has jobs, our, 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 you know, think about it right now. I'm all about growth. I'm all about the economy. Right now, if you have a 21 or 22-year-old child that graduates college, if they don't go to the hospital or to the school, guess where they're going? Out of Pike County. They're not going to make a living here. They're not going to be able to provide and, and survive in our county today. So what we need to do as a people, we need to all come together, not for, not for Freddie Lewis, not for uh, somebody else or another elected official. We need to come together for the people, by the people, and serve the people. That's what it's about. That's why I stand here before you today. That's what it's all about. Now, I do realize that we have seen some of the most evilest, some of the most ungodliest things come down the pike from the Democratic Party out of Washington, D.C., and I'm going to tell you something today. I told my wife, I told my, my, my daughter-in-laws, I said, listen, when I went to school, we taught children, or they taught us math, science, history, uh, work ethic. And now when you go to school, they're teaching them that it's okay if they're a boy, if they want to be a girl. If they don't want to be a girl, they can go and be a cat and a dog. That's absolutely sickening today. And if we don't stand up, and take a stand on this stuff, I'm we are going to lose our country. Our children's future is at stake right now. And if we don't stand up for our children, let me tell you something, we are the only ones to blame. I would ask you for your support. I promise you that I will work hard and provide. Thank you. connections matter the most and they make staying connected very simple at this very moment you can get up to 550 dollars off select devices on new or renewed line then simply choose the appalachian unlimited or mix and match plan and you're good to go this offer good in store only terms and conditions may apply and by the way 10 percent off all accessories so pay a visit to your favorite appalachian wireless location today because we are you we are appalachian wireless Dina's Designs at Dry Fork is now fully stocked with thousands of vibrant flowers and supplies, all at wholesale pricing. Dina's can customize vases, wreaths, saddles, hanging pots, and flags. We have solar crosses, wind spinners, bird baths, and more. Dina has one of the area's largest selections of candleberry candles, tarts, and warmers. Watch our Facebook page for specials. There's so much to see at Dina's Designs. Highway 15 at Dry Fork of Whitesburg. Call 633-7477.